The measles virus belongs to the morbillivirus family, which is closely related to the one that causes swine fever and cattle plague. But unlike many similar viruses, the measles virus hasn't mutated and has retained the same structure for many years. This genetic attribute means that vaccines developed in the 1960s are still effective. An airborne disease, the measles virus is spread by coughing, sneezing, and saliva. Once the virus is in the air, it remains infectious for around two hours. For 10 to 14 days after the start of infection, the disease is in a silent phase and there are no symptoms. A hostile intruder, the virus lodges in the respiratory tract, multiplies, and then enters the bloodstream, where it can reach the body's organs the spleen, lymph nodes, lungs, and liver. And this is when the symptoms start. High fever, runny nose, cough, conjunctivitis, and sometimes diarrhea. It's also when the infected child is the most contagious. The child can also have a distinctive sign of measles, coplex spots, small spots that appear inside the mouth. Then a rash breaks out. Within four days, small spots appear, initially on the face, before spreading to the rest of the body. And lastly, the skin starts to peel. Most children will have uncomplicated measles and will be tired for about 10 days before recovery. But 10 to 40% will have complications such as ear infections, pneumonia, or other respiratory infections. Measles can be very severe or even fatal for children under the age of five, living in crowded conditions, or who are malnourished or HIV positive. Less common, but more dangerous, is encephalitis, an inflammation of the brain that occurs in one in every thousand cases. It's the complications of measles that can be fatal, especially in children aged under five and adults over 20. In poor countries, measles mortality usually fluctuates between 3 and 6 percent, but can be as high as 30 percent in refugee camps and remote communities. <laughs>